So I'm finally back with another video. This video is going to be all about King's Cup Gravel, also known as the British Gravel Championships, which is tomorrow. It's uh, end of September now, so this is my last race of the year. And actually, it's going to be my first ever... First ever gravel race. Now, some of you may know I just did GB Duro about a month ago. Obviously, it's a gravel race, but an ultra race. So I mean, this is my first proper gravel short gravel race i guess i don't really know how you describe it but yeah so i got ultra form but i don't have much uh, speedy form so should be quite interesting to see i have no expectations i got this mega bike that i'm borrowing from matt page so thanks matt um currently out on my short activation ride i'm not going to do crazy long probably only an hour max just because i want to try and go in as fresh as possible still not 100 percent after gb duo in terms of speed and fully fresh mad how much that takes out of you but I'm gonna be traveling down this afternoon down to Norfolk get ready to watch me get probably epically spat but it should be funny either way yeah let's go so a bit more about this bike I'll drop it in now it's me when I'm not in full kit trying to ride no handed down a canal path let's see it so then here it is obviously full carbon frame courtesy of Lauf with the Lauf fork. It actually provides 30 millimeters of travel, which is just brilliant for keeping you know, keeping your shoulders a bit fresher over longer rides, or just allowing you to do that slightly trickier trail than you might be able to do on a regular gravel bike. Throughout, we've got a Shimano GRX Di2 group set. The only exception to that is the front derailleur. So we've got a 48-32 front chain ring, and that is coupled with a 32-11 rear cassette. So that will provide us with a one-to-one -one ratio on climbs, but it's pretty fast course, so I'm pretty happy with that actually because that gives me a much larger gear than if I was to run a one by setup. Finishing it up, we've got a few bottle cages, Garmin, head unit, um, S-Works saddle. We've got the WTB carbon wheels, that are the CZR, and we've also got these tires. Now, I hadn't heard of them before. Matt popped them on. They are the, I believe it's Vredenstein, Aventura. Um, now these are in a 40 millimeter width, obviously set up tubulous. Um, a pretty fast profile and tread pattern, which is going to help carry that momentum going forward. So yeah, that is the bike. And let's hope it carries me to a half decent result. So then, that was the bike. Hope that was relatively interesting. Um, I'm not a tech beast, so yeah, didn't know everything, but yeah, a bit more about King's Cup then. This will be the second edition. Um, it is the British Gravel Championships, as I said before. It's 80K, um, and it was rapid last time. I think. Um, some big names there. It should be really interesting. Oh, so, in the car now. I missed a bit off the end there because I was in a bit of a rush to get ready. But yeah, I got home from that little ride, cleaned the bike, loaded it into the car. We're somewhere around, no idea maybe near bath probably not near bath at all on the motorway we've got about three and a bit hours to go it's nearly five o'clock so we're probably going to get there by eight ish hopefully god it's a bit of a tedious drive it's all the way in norfolk so bit of a bit of a chunky drive but yeah i'll catch you at the hotel we've made it to the travel lodge uh just tucking into a bit of food now made a little buffet and then we'll go out and get some proper food it is 20 to 9 been a while but we made it. The Lauf is over there. TV is on. Set up here. Three beds, which is, I guess, one for each leg. Whoa. So here we go. Food. What have we got, Murray? Lots of food. We got pizza, a garlic bread, and some ravioli there. Yeah. Lovely stuff. <laughs> so just woke it up now. I'm just putting her makeup on. I'm just tucking into a bit of breakfast. Uh, had some cornflakes, some pan au chocolat, and some orange juice, which is nice. Um, just sat by the window, so we're gonna head over in about 15 minutes to the start. I got some fresh socks on, just see of Albion. Um, so yeah, should be a good day. Any words? Here we are, just having a free race gel. <laughs> just on a lap of the course. Pretty nice, pretty sandy. So yeah, it should be good fun. We've got five laps, so I'll see you afterwards. 
Ponte at the front to start off to get position. And the first rider by yourself is in super form. It's a long way to go. Still little gaps here. Those front riders trying to push onto the back of Mikey. Come on, Bren. You're having a chance. Go on, Bren. Here he is. So I just finished King's Cup gravel. Um, it took about two hours twenty into K. Pretty savage. Um, pretty no muddy. <laughs> yeah, pretty muddy. No idea where I came. But really good fun and got a little bit repetitive by the end by the fifth lap but yeah lots of um interestingness in the course some sand plenty of gravel and some bumpy grass so yeah gonna get get cleaned up now mm. <laughs> and uh yeah more. Oh. Tan get, line. Get well. oh, so it's a, f a few days later now back home recovered from king's cup and yeah, so in the end, I was 24th in the British Gravel Champ. So pretty pleased with that. You know, it's a nice place to start with. First gravel race, you know, it's good fun. And yeah, I think I can improve a lot. So that's my plan for next year. Smash some more gravel racing and some more ultras. But for now, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm just getting back into the swing of things now. So there's going to be fingers crossed a couple more. I'll catch you guys in a bit.